What's going on gang? Welcome to my channel if you've never been here before and welcome back if you have. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We are going to have an awesome fun day today. I'm Kelly. I'm an advanced holistic health practitioner, individualized nutrition and weight loss specialist. And so I do a lot of research about longevity. How do we live long, healthy and happy lives while still enjoying the good stuff? And I cannot think of a better example of somebody who has lived a long, happy, and healthy life, but still enjoys all of the good stuff. And I'm talking about Miss Betty White. That woman is almost 100 years old. She has had a long, very happy, and very healthy life. So I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do a day in the life of Betty White, her exercise regime, her diet. So I went online to search for that information and I was shocked to find very little information about her and how she lives. But what I did find is that this woman loves things like hot dogs, french fries, diet coke, red licorice, and vodka. And her exercise regime consists of going up and down the stairs in her two-story home because she keeps forgetting why she's gone up or down the stairs. You're so fit. Do you have an exercise routine or...? or... I have a two-story house and a very bad memory, so I'm up and down those stairs <laughs> all the time. So we are going to honor her today. I'm not going to copy exactly what she does, but I'm going to show you my version, how I live, and the way that she does, because I do much of the same things. So let's have some fun honoring Betty White and live a little bit happier today because of it. Life's about new memories. What do you say we go make some? She enjoys a very minimal breakfast. I love to eat. I'm really hungry in the mornings also. So I'm going to show you my personal idea of a minimal breakfast. Let's go. Does Betty White have coffee? I don't know. We do though. We do. All right, so for minimal breakfast, we're eating a banana. We've already started that. And we're going to have oatmeal. Small bowl of oatmeal. This might be bigger than Betty White's version, but we're gonna have quick cook oats, gluten-free. It's always good to cover it so that it soaks up better. Now, because Betty White's breakfast is minimal, I'm going to assume she does not put protein powder in her oats. I'm gonna put it in mine. Cumin, natural fat burner, nutmeg, cinnamon, Walnuts. And there we have my version of a minimal breakfast. <laughs> All right, breakfast is all done. So what's there left to do but go grab Chris. We always have so much fun together. And go find some hot dogs at the coolest hot dog place I have ever known in my entire life. Who doesn't love a good hot dog? Cheers. And I happen to live in the same town as this really amazing and very unique hot dog restaurant. So let's go get some dogs. I'm gonna show you the Diet Coke that I love to drink. I love Diet Coke. I completely understand Betty White's love of Diet Coke. I drink Zevia. So Zevia is a calorie-free cola. It is much, much healthier than Diet Coke though. It does not have any aspartame in it, so that's why it's healthier. It's just carbonated water, stevia leaf extract, natural flavors, caffeine, citric acid. This stuff, much, much better for you. So this is how I'm gonna enjoy Diet Coke as we get in the car and get on on the road. Oh, and I also, true Buddy White style, of course, got some what she would call red whip. Let's go. So we're gonna go head out and have some hot dogs. And I just wanted to touch on how I believe Betty White is so healthy for so long because she doesn't stress about it. She doesn't stress about exercise. She doesn't stress about dieting. And she just doesn't stress about other things in life. She talks a lot about not taking things too seriously and just having a lot of fun. And that will take you farther health-wise than many things. You know, you could be doing things for your health all day, every day, but if you're really stressed out or not feeling positive, it's really going to negate most of those health benefits. So we're going to have a snack and head to the hot dog stand.
Easter bricks. So excited. The home of the 12 inch hot dogs and veggie dogs for people like me. I'm not a vegetarian. I love veggie dogs and food. I don't know why. I just, I just love it. Is it healthy for you? No, but our hot dogs? No. So we're just gonna enjoy that. And uh, yeah, let's go. Dogs. I'm kind of boring. I just like ketchup, mustard, and relish, but taco dogs, pizza dogs, nacho dogs. Oh my gosh, the phony cookie. And their ice cream here, also to die for. Can't say I've ever had a burger. Well, because of our friend the COVID, we cannot eat outside. There are picnic benches here, but we're gonna have to eat in the car. So, veggie dog. Looks like a normal dog, smells and tastes like a normal dog, so maybe they're just tricking us. Maybe it's a secret real dog. Mm. Surprise! It says, our roots go back to 1926 okay. when Mabel Easterbrook first opened the store as a tea house. And then in 1930, she began selling hot dogs and it's been the same ever since. All right, we're done the hot dogs. They were delicious. No wonder Easterbrook's has stood the test of time and is still standing. If you are ever near the Burlington, Ontario area, make Easterbrook's a pit stop. Get yourself a foot long, some fries, serving of ice cream, enjoy. Now, Betty White says that she loves to have vodka with her dog in the evening. She likes a vodka soda. Now, I don't drink vodka, so I didn't wanna go buy a bunch of vodka for this video. We can't go to any bars, but I enjoy tequila. So we're gonna go home and I'm gonna have a tequila with my cat. In the theme of trying to stay as close to a day that Betty White would live as we can. This is Zoe. She is my version of a dog right now and absolutely love her, but I don't have a dog or vodka, tequila, and a cat. So we're just gonna make do. I'll show you the easiest way to make a margarita, which is one of my favorite beverages. And uh, she's a little nervous with the whole camera issue. And we will enjoy that. I'm gonna put her down so she can go hide. I just want you to be able to see her. Okay, so I realized very recently that I had never had a margarita in my entire life. What, do you live under a rock? I know, no, I can't wait for the comments on that. So, 
I recently picked this stuff up because I wanted to try a margarita. This is the tequila that I got. I bought this kind because I'm not spending as much as Patron costs on a drink just because I've never had one before. So I bought this. Apparently, if you're a beginner drinker, this is a great tequila to start with. So here we go. And then I went to HomeSense and at HomeSense, rather than mess around with all of the different ingredients, cause like I say, just having one for fun, I found these zero sugar margarita mixes. Are they healthy? Hell no. But they are far less sugar. This one is strawberry key lime and this one is just margarita. <laughs> A whole bunch of citrus. But they were regularly 10 bucks and they were seven bucks at HomeSense. So I'm telling you, Winners HomeSense and Marshalls, if you're in Canada, go there to get your stuff. Even spices there, organic spices, way, way cheaper. It's just got awesome stuff. And if you're ever in a random, I want to try a margarita, that's where you get it. So I don't have margarita glasses. We're going to use that in this trusty measuring shot glass that I have. Apparently there are three ounces in a margarita, but one ounce is tequila, one ounce is, I can't remember, like an orange liqueur, I think, and then there's another one. I don't even know. So we're just gonna have a couple ounces of tequila, and I think I'm going to make it with a strawberry key lime. See how easy this is? You don't need all those ingredients. Or a blender. We could have blended this, but we don't need that. Ice. I bought these ice cube trays from Amazon thinking they would be ice cube trays. Look how little the cubes are. They're tiny cubes. On lots of rocks. How do you make a margarita? Comment below and let me know. Yeah. That's amazing. Did you know also, fun facts, tequila is the only alcohol that is an upper and not a downer or a depressant. Anyway, moving on, hot dog was great. Hot dog fries, margarita, and Twizzlers all in one day. That is so different from my normal life, but. I'm really getting along with Betty. So we are in true Betty White spirit, as she says, always have a good time. There's not much that is a better time to me than driving. I love driving, that's why I bought this car. I love the driving experience. And much like the luck with the hot dog stand, I am lucky enough to live very close by Cliche Corner, which is a very famous corner that car reviewers will come to to test out the cars. It's just a really, really epic corner to drive around with a sweet car. So we are taking the point Portia to Cliche Corner to have fun like I'm sure Betty White would. So this is it. This is the famous Cliche Corner. Up there. Up there. It's a lot of fun. But there are other roads around here like Snake Road which is awesome but it's a lot of fun. Okay, so as mentioned, Betty White's favorite form of exercise, or her only form of exercise, is just going up and down the stairs in her two-story home. I have a one-story home, so if you're ever at all familiar with Hamilton, Ontario, there are many stairs here, a great many stairs. A lot of them are used for fitness fanatics. However, we're gonna use them for Betty White, and we're also gonna go downtown and check out a really awesome, healthy little restaurant, cafe. It's just fantastic. So we're gonna go there, incorporate the stairs as per Betty White, and we will see you when we get there. It's probably gonna beat a two-story house. It beats a two-story house, although we don't know how much she forgets. <laughs> here we are. Cravings. Nutritious and delicious.
That is delicious. Chris is gonna try it. Is it good? Like deducing what's a little bit different, but yeah, it's absolutely delicious. <laughs> well, that's that. That was our day of not so much a day in the life of Betty White, but paying tribute to Betty White in our own way all day long. It was absolutely delicious. I'm gonna live a long, healthy life if I never worry, right? And so you should never worry about anything. Don't take anything too seriously. Have a lot of fun. Try to have fun in every day. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful, informative, or entertaining at all. And if so, please give it a thumbs up down there for me as that really does help the channel grow. Please, please subscribe to this channel. That really is where all of the support does come from. If you want notifications of each time I post a new video, please hit that little bell notification icon down there and you will be sent an update every time I upload. And until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun living like you and enjoying life. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.